so looking at um accuracy and uncertainty mostly when you are taking measurements uh you are not usually sure of the value that you have measured so that means that you will have to like estimate some digits in that particular value then there is going to be like a limit to the amount of estimation that you can make so the smallest like the smallest measurement that you can take from any apparatus is going to be the accuracy of that particular device so let's say for example you have a metal rule and at this point you have two then you have 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 2.5 2.6 2.7 2.8 2.9 then we have 30 somewhere around here now you want to use this metal rule to take a measurement now if you look at this the maximum your metal rule can go is take this digit then one more digit after the decimal which is 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 those are the actual values that you can take from the metal rule now let's assume that when i want to I want to use it to measure something then that what I want to measure is up to this now if I want to record this value I'm very sure that this is greater than 2 so I will say 2 point now look at this point it is up to this is 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 2.5 2 2.6 2.7 now that will be 2.7 something now in most cases what people will just do is they just come here since it is between 2.7 and 2.8 they just say 2.75 now you are very sure of these two you are very sure of this seven but you are not sure of these five you are not sure of these five so that means that you are only sure of the first digit after the decimal you are sure of the first digits before the decimal you are also sure of the first digit after the decimal but you are not sure of this second digit after the decimal because your ruler does not actually show this value you just estimated it that it is between 2.7 and 2.8 that's why you wrote it as well 2.75 so that means that the accuracy of your metal rule is going to be 0. Point, you, you, you stop when you get to that digit that you are sure of which is the first digit after decimal 0 0.1 so the accuracy of our metal rule is going to be what is 0 0.1 centimeter that's going to be what the accuracy of our metal rule because we are sure of the first digit after the decimal so in that first digit that's where you are going to put your one but this second digit after the decimal you are not sure of it so that's why if you want to record this value you have to add the error to it now what you are going to do is what 2.75 plus or minus now you have to tell us the error now the error is going to be half of this accuracy so the accuracy is what 0 0.1 you divide it by 2 that will be 0 0.05 so this is how you are going to record the measurement your measurement will be what 2.75 plus or minus 0 0.05 so this means that you are sure of 2.7 but you are not sure of this 0 0.5 so that means that the actual value might be 2.70 and it might actually be 2.80 is somewhere in between those two values and if you check it that's actually very correct because it's between 2.7 and 2.8 so you are not sure of that second digit after the decimal so these are the possible values that you can have so please do not make that mistake this is what the accuracy accuracy we usually write it separately you won't join accuracy with the measurement no if they ask you what's the accuracy you tell them the accuracy you tell them separately that the accuracy is 0 0.1 the accuracy is 0 0.2 the accuracy is anything now because you can take only one digit after the decimal so you put your one on the second digit after the decimal so that's going to be what that's going to be the accuracy but for the if you now want to take your measurement and state the uncertainty in your measurement that means you are doubting this five right you are doubting the second digit after the decimal that's now when you will do half of the accuracy then 
write it in the second part some people if you go and say if you if you say the accuracy of this is two points maybe when you wanted to recall the value you said you say you have two points let's say you have 2.7 or 2.75 you now say plus or minus 0 0.1 you are very wrong what you are saying is that the value is between two points subtract 0 0.1 2.65 and 2.85 look at it this is 2.65 is somewhere around here 2.85 is somewhere around here that's a very big margin of error so that's a very big margin of what a big margin of error because you have put the error as 0 0.1 so it's a bigger margin of error so you can't do that you can't do that you are very sure that it is between 2.6 and 2.7 so stating it as this value is going to be wrong stating it like this is going to actually going to be wrong so don't forget how we get accuracy accuracy is what the smallest measurement that you can take the smallest measurement is between here and here and what's the distance between them that's 0.1 centimeter so you can you can still do it that way too that the smallest measurement that we can take is between 2 and 2.1 right and that is 0.1 centimeter that's the accuracy but the uncertainty or the error you have to divide the accuracy by two after dividing it by two then you add it to your measurement now so what this means is that if you want to measure with a meter rule you should have three digits you should have how many digits you should have three digits but out of those three digits two of them are the ones that are sure for you but the last digit is the one that you are not sure of so the first two like usually leave out the last digit and the remaining ones are the ones that you are sure of let's say for example somebody records a value and say let's say 4.718 someone records value like this what it means is that the person is sure of this 4.71 but the person is not sure of this 8 that is last so if you have this if they give you a value like this and they ask you what is the accuracy you just come here just change this one to zero change the first digit to zero point change the second digit to zero then this is the last one that we are sure of so you represent it with one not because one is here but because that's where we are stopping that's why we are putting one so this is going to be the accuracy of the instrument that they use to measure this particular value let's say i measure a value of 5.276 and they are 2768 and they are 2769 and they ask us what's the accuracy the accuracy is going to be you know we are sure of all of this so this will change this one to zero point change this two also to zero 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 then this is where we are stopping right that's where you put one so the accuracy is going to be what zero point zero zero one but that is not what the uncertainty that's not the uncertainty. The uncertainty you now be half of the accuracy. Then you now use plus or minus to represent it. So that is what the accuracy of a meter rule. Following the same, following similar procedures, you can get the accuracy of maybe vernier caliper and any other one that you also ask to find.